Uh, hey folks. Now, I've often stated I think Ash Sarker is worthy of listening to, unlike a lot of people on the left are socialists. She does seem to think about her thoughts. Um, a lot of people who are left wing just seem to just drivel on whatever someone else has said. They usually haven't very. They usually have low intellect. You know, one of the things that one can often observe about people left wing are they're not very bright people. They they often use socialism as a way of thinking that people might think they're more clever than they are. Often they're quite dim people. And we see this at protests all the time because the moment they get a question about anything they look blank and result to insults or just call your names or run away or block you or whatever vile thing because then, you know, the, the, instead of just admitting they're thick, it's easier for them to insult others. Whenever you see somebody, by the way, if you ever ever see somebody at a protest swear at another person, it's often because they're very low intelligence. It's a, it's the they can't debate. People who can debate will never swear and act like that. It's what dim thick people do. You know, there's no you know, um, people get angry at you know things. It's often rather dim. Now, again, like I said, I, I often think Ash Sark is quite a decent person. But on this occasion, it appears there's a clip where, again, it appears she's talking to on to the um, internet. It's Lorraine Southern, I probably pronounced that wrong. Where either she or a team have been, you know, it sounds like they've been assaulted. Now, Ash Sarka then says it's her fault or their fault that she got, apparently she got punched for wearing a Union Jack hat. I don't know if that's the reason or what. But this is disturbing because one doesn't claim, you know, it doesn't matter what side of your beliefs are, one shouldn't ever accuse the victim of being their fault. I mean, this is like saying um, to a, a woman who's um, getting beaten up by her husband, that's her fault. And there will be women who will listen to this and think, oh, well, it must be their fault if they're getting beaten up. It's never their fault, and one should never put this message out. That's the appalling thing. And, you know, again, if you're at a protest, you should welcome people, not disco. You know, if you're if you're showing people away, you're on the wrong side of anything. Um, you should welcome people. It doesn't matter if they have different views or they're from the media you don't appreciate or whatever. Everyone should be welcome. You should invite people in, make people feel welcome. That's the good and correct thing to do. If you don't do that, if you believe you have to scream and shout or swear or put your hand up to block somebody or say, I'm not speaking to you because you're not the right type of person. No, I'm a bit stupid. You're, a, you're an incredibly stupid, thick moron. You, you're a bad person. So, you know, again, I'll put the um, clip at the end of this, uh, and again, I'm, I'm quite appalled by it. It's appalling. You should never tell the victim that it's their fault. It never is. And if you're at a protest, and one of your persons, colleagues or whatever, associates, is being breaking the law, doing something like that, then don't stick up for them. Say they're wrong. There's nothing wrong with that. One of the things I've noticed with this, um, you know, pro-Palestine thing is that some people have misbehaved. And rather than just saying, yes, they're in the wrong, which is what a normal person would do, there seems to be this pathetic attempt to try and cover it up and pretend it's not happened. You know, shame on them. Shame on anyone who does that. I mean, you've noticed I've been recording these protests and said that everyone so far has behaved decently. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, you know, if I go to a protest and somebody starts being silly with me, it's not going to, you know, saying, oh, I don't think I'm the right type of person to film. It's not going to do anything. I'm going to still film you. Um, you're just a bad person. So far, everyone's been welcoming. I mean, you know, I've never, you know, I don't make comments. I, I'm neutral. And I've felt quite welcomed. I don't feel... You know, so far, I haven't felt intimidated or anything. But 
But there would be no, you know, I'm not going to stick up with some, you know, put up with anybody who starts playing silly devils. But yes, everyone should be welcomed. You know, you know I, I can't imagine. See, this is the bizarre thing I can never understand about these left-wing people. Is this attitude. They feel that they have rights, but they want to remove rights from others. It is bizarre. You know, if you're on a protest or any event, I mean, I've had this discussion a lot. People, you know, at um, one one spot event that happened in uh, London, I think it was, somebody started saying, Oh, you're not welcome here. And I said, How dare you, you horrible little oik. I have the same rights as you do. If you've got the rights to protest, then I have the rights to film. You can't suddenly decide who has rights. The moment, if you believe that other people don't have rights that you have, that is very telling. And you're on the wrong side of history, old boy. Shame on you. Shame. Now, you know, nobody should ever go up to somebody filming them or whatever and tell them that they shouldn't be welcomed here. This is... You know, the rules, unless I'm wrong, is that everybody can, you know, at a protest, anybody can go. There's not, you know, you don't, unless it's a a private venue, then you can say to people, don't come in. But if this is a public place, such as a town, you can't just go, oh, this area is ours for the next hour and we'll only allow certain people in. Certainly not, old boy. You have to allow everyone in. That's the, you know, unless I'm mistaken there. That's the system. Um, you know, if you, it is absolutely appalling the way people are acting at the moment. Shame on a lot of people. Shame. You know, this, this, um, no, it, it's. I, I, I find it disgusting that people would ever consider removing someone's rights like this, and blaming the victim. Shameful. Shameful. Anyway, uh, I'm just a bit annoyed about that because you should never blame the victim. Shame on anybody who would do that thought. Shame. Anyway, there we go, folks. A bit of an annoyance for me today. Bye. Someone someone stole my private property, punched my cameraman, punched my friend, and now this woman is coming up and saying that it is our fault. That is, you came here deliberately. It is is our fault for getting punched. It is our fault for having my private property. We have a right to be here. Did I say you don't have a right to be here? What what did I? No, tell me. What did I do? What did I do to provoke you? You came here with a shit hat, no taste, just to start a scrap. That's what you did. I came here wearing a hat, so it's my fault that my friends got punched, that I got shoved. Unreal. Motive day today, obviously.